This local sports report is brought to you by the Inn of Waterloo and Conference Center. Check us out for all your conference, event, and guest room requirements for any of your out-of-town fans. Let us be part of your home team. We are here to exceed your expectations. Book now by calling 519-804-1130 or visit the Inn of Waterloo.com. Here is Warriors head coach Chris Bertoya. How excited are you, coach? I know yeah. you're starting to get ready for training camp on August 14th, and you know players starting to get excited, I'm sure, as well. Yeah, obviously the, the players are heavy into their strength and conditioning and, and obviously preparing their bodies for training camp. Uh, this year with a shorter, the OUA uh, reduced training camp by five days. So mm -hmm. with a shorting, shorter training camp, you know, obviously strength and conditioning, uh, in uh, indie positional um, sessions um, and captain's practices are hugely important yeah. for us in, in coming into camp prepared. Obviously, we've told our guys that, you know, uh, they got to come in shape. We're not going to be running around and, and blowing the whistle and making them run gassers to get them in shape. We, we only have ultimately really 10 days till our first game. But, you know, you take away the walkthrough practice, we, we've got pretty much eight full days of practice to get ready for UFT, who's coming here on Sunday, August 25th, uh, 7 p.m. kickoff against the Varsity Blues. And, and you know, obviously they're going to be chomping at the bit. Uh, we've got them uh, the better end of them the last two years. And, you know, just one game at a time. Obviously super excited. I mean, yeah. it's it, football is a long off season, <laughs> um, So you, you work hard and, and you prepare and you recruit and, and you fundraise and you do everything that's kind of under the title of head coach and your assistants work their tails off and um, for that for for this chance for the chance to, to, to make a run at the Yates Cup and in the Vanier Cup ultimately you took a major step forward last year as a program getting back to the playoffs but it's about building on that success this coming season what are the goals this year are they different than they were last year or how do you approach this season based on the success that you had last season well, we, we had a, we actually uh, had a coaching meeting, a coaching staff meeting last night with our entire staff and kind of went over our training camp schedule and some of the guys joked because I basically go from the start of camp all the way till the end of the season. And uh, they said, this is the first time you've put all the way to the Vanier Cup in there. And I, I think, you know, obviously there's much work to be done and, yeah. and, and we still need to take uh, big steps, but I think we can start, you know, putting that as a goal for us obviously you got to you know the ultra competitive OUA this year it's going to be very very competitive I think each week you're going to see nail biters and, and any team can come out on top and um, but you know I, I believe uh, firmly returning 21 of 20, 24 starters um, the three other starters that aren't returning are, are in in the CFL so mm -hmm. uh, we're doing something right with player development and uh, but we're really excited for you know obviously returning that nucleus and and you know, hopefully uh, with, with the return of our coaching staff intact in for the third straight season in a year where um, there was a lot of change uh, for new head coaches and staff, you know, staff switches, so on and so forth. Um, we're hoping that continuity with, with both our staff and ultimately the players that have been playing under this staff for the last, last three seasons proves to be beneficial, especially when we get into tight contests key players will be who? Who are some of the names? We've got the obvious standout ones, Curtis Gray, obviously at linebacker, Trey Ford at quarterback. Names, who are they going to be, Coach? Well, obviously, you know, we had four guys go down to the East-West Bowl this year, and they all performed very well. And, and going into their fourth year, this will be their fourth year, running back Deion Pellerin, yep. receiver Tyler Tanoski, who, you know, was arguably the best receiver in the country. And, and, uh, and then uh, Michael Reed, mm -hmm. uh, our leader on defense. Curtis Gray, another leader on defense. You know, Lau Frecha returns for a fifth year. Uh, Lau was, you know, he... He, I wouldn't say shunned, but you know he wasn't drafted. We thought he might get picked in a in a late round, and he wasn't drafted. And I, I believe Lau's losing that, using that as fuel to his fire. He's having a great, you know, he's working his butt off, and and um, his leadership will be big. You know, starting for the fifth year in a row for us. Yep. Um, you know, obviously, uh, you know, we got jack of all trades like Brandon Metz. Uh, you know, we can't forget Gordon Lamb. You know, Gordo's an outstanding player, and he plays with fire, and his catch radius is amazing. He blocks. He, he kind of does everything so we're expecting Gordon to have another great year and and local product Barnaba Neal who we've moved into that H-back position where uh, Mitch Kernick used to play yep, yep. you know Barnaba's 6'6 six, six and 225 pounds and, and it's time for Barn Barnaba to step up and I think he's excited for that opportunity as we are for him to to make plays for us um, 
you know, defensive line wise, Josh Brown returns. We're hoping that he has a, a standout season and, and starts leading that uh, that defensive line and, and making, you know, putting some pressure on the quarterbacks. Secondary wise, Tyrell Ford's back. Obviously, yeah. he's uh, he's going into his third year. He's a shutdown corner, arguably, arguably the best corner in the, the conference. Um, you know, and then we return a few young guys in Andy Mello and Deshaun Jupiter Dean, who came off freshman years and OUA rookie years, that we expect some big things out of them. And yeah, there's, I mean, lots of guys, you know. <laughs> <laughs> obviously, uh, we're excited for you know what what what, what holds ahead. Uh, obviously, Trey Ford's a dynamic player, and, and uh, he's a special generational kid. And, and obviously, we're going to re rely on Trey to to top up his numbers from <laughs> last year. And, and uh, you know, I think the guys are all excited. They're very focused. Um, you know, the biggest thing that came out last year that, that I'm very proud of with this team that I sense from them is that you know we made the playoffs for the first time in 15 years, and and. I think every single one of them to a man is disappointed in, in how the playoffs finished. I think right. we believe that um, that we're a team that should be able to compete for the Yates Cup this year now, um, and, and that's a good thing. And it's, it, you know, it's been a lot of hard work, but those guys have all been here putting in that hard work. For more highlights, visit our website, 519sportsonline.ca. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.